All right, so episode four, grow my video game collection. So let's get right into it. Um, I went to uh, my local Savers. It was the one that I got uh, Tecmo Super Bowl at a little while ago. And that place normally is all picked through and there's nothing really good there. But they actually had this light gun. This is a Nyko uh, Cobra light gun. And the cool thing about this is it, it resembles the stunner of the Sega Saturn, but um, this actually has the input for the Saturn and it has for the uh, one for the PlayStation. So this can be used on both, which is nice. I already have two stunners. Um, for the Saturn, but I don't have, besides my gun con, I don't have um, another light gun for the PlayStation. I've been really wanting to play like Area 51. In all honesty, like light gun games aren't as fun using the controller. So that was pretty cool. That was four bucks. And that thing's built really well. I went to my local flea market, and um, one guy just has boxes of old electronics, like cal calculators and cameras and you name it. I mean, it's, it's probably in there. Uh, anyway, in one of his boxes, this at games. Uh, portable handheld portable was in there. Um, this is the Game Gear and Master System one. So there's 30 games on here. Let's see. Baku Baku Animal is my favorite one. It's a puzzle game where some of the pieces are food. So it could be a carrot and then so there's like four. So there's a carrot, a banana, a bamboo, and a dog bone. And then there's four animals. There's a dog, there's a panda, there's a monkey and then there's a rabbit. So you stack the food up together or the animals up together and then once you stack the f match the food with the proper animal, they eat it and get rid of the things. Anyway, whatever. It looks like this. Uh, Bomber Raid is a vertical shooter. Reminds me a lot of like 1942. What else do we have on there? Golden Axe is on there. Uh, Rystar is on there. Sonic Spinball is on there. Um, there are either the Master System or the Game Gear versions. Tails Adventure is on there. Um, anyway, so this is a really nice unit. Um, it works really well. It takes three AAA batteries, um, which were actually in there when I got it. Uh, it has an on-off switch on the top, volume control. The cool thing is this has video and audio out on the top. It has video and audio out on the top, and then um, it has a headphone jack on the bottom. And even the Game Boy Advance SP didn't have an, a headphone jack built right in. You had to have... Uh, a special piece to uh, plug your headphones in. Anyway, so this is a pretty nice unit. It works pretty well. I will say the screen is scratched on here. There's, there's a lot of scratches from, um, you know, guy probably finding it in someone's basement. But when the game turns on, it's pretty clear, and it can be plugged into a uh, television. You can just play it on there. Uh, there's a channel, Esoteric Arcade, and he made a video last week or two weeks ago, week and a half ago, about top, like, ten really good... Uh, Famicom games that only came out in Japan, and one of them was Ninja Jaja Maru. Yes, I think that's what it is. I don't know anything about uh, Japanese. So this is like a side-scrolling platformer. It's like Mario 3. Um, this game is pretty difficult to control until you learn the controls. Um, you can run. People are lighting the fireworks outside. So you can run. Um, you can also pick your character between the male and the female. They both have different attributes. I know the, the female can jump higher than the male. Um, and you're just trying to get to the end of the level, and then there's a boss, and you fight him. And it's actually, this game's actually really fun. This cost me $10 shipped to the house. Um, and yeah, I'm definitely going to keep playing it. The, the learning curve of this game is in the controls. Um, I went to go see some of my buddies out east, and when I was out there, I stopped at one of my go to places that I pick up games from out there and I picked both of these games up from them for eight dollars altogether. The first is Iggy's Wrecking Balls. Iggy's Wrecking Balls. This game is like mayhem. Uh, the this like, this is a racing game. Um, and I don't really know what to say about this game. You're ahead and you're racing three other heads, so there's four of you racing to the end. So you start off going uh, horizontally and then you get to like a building and you have to climb to the top so you're like a head that's jumping around and you can throw out an arm and you can use that arm to grab ledges and pull yourself up or you can grab p the other players and throw them off or smash them into the ground or whatever um, it's pretty ridiculous I had a blast playing this and I can imagine only imagine four people playing this that it would be just crazy um, the tracks I don't know if I said it remind me of Uni uh, Uniracers so Uniracers was the unicycle game for the Super Nintendo and just the track layout it, they just remind me of this of each other and then the other one, so that was five bucks. Uh, and then this one was Lady Sia. Lady Sia, this is a uh, Game Boy Advance game by TDK. Artwork in this game is amazing. This is like a platforming game where you're going through a city and you're, well, at the level that, I, that I'm that i showing here, you're like going through a city and you're, you're climbing ladders and you're freeing people who are tied up and you're fighting. Um, you're fighting 
evildoers or whatever, and you're trying to get to the end of the level, um, and then you're eventually trying to get your crown and your sword back. And the game is just really, it's, it controls really well. This game is really cheap. The artwork is beautiful, um, the graphics and everything. So if you see this, pick it up, AC, it's good. And the last set of things that I have here, I went, I hung out with Samurai Sam, and we went to our favorite game store. So I got all this stuff from them for 25 bucks. Uh, Killer Instinct Gold. So all together, this was twenty five bucks. It was Killer Instinct Gold. This game is is awesome. I mean, it's Killer Instinct, and the combos are ridiculous. Um, good selection of players. Graphics are really nice. I really I really enjoy playing this game. And this game has I don't remember if the Super Nintendo one did, but this one has like fatalities. Like there was a part where uh, when one of the female uh, fighters kicked my ass, like a an elephant came down and, and splattered on me, and the screen went black and everything. Very obviously Mortal Kombat ish, but very very cool. Um, I've been trying to get that game for a while. I bought that game from eBay like a year ago, and it was conveniently lost in the mail, and so I never got it. Uh, I got my money back and everything, but I've never been able to actually get a hold of that. Get uh, get a hold of that game. Uh, next one I got there was Cobra Triangle. So I watched uh, Torture Vision play one of their, or in one of their Let's Play videos, they did Cobra Triangle, and this is a game uh, made by Rare, and the graphics remind me a lot of Battletoads. I'm pretty sure it was just the same engine or the same artists and stuff. Um, so you're a boat, and essentially this is a bunch of mini-games. So uh, the first one will be, you know, collect a certain amount of things to get through the level, and then you have a timer that counts down, and you're just trying to get through the level, uh, collecting whatever you got to collect before the timer goes down to zero. There's some where you have to race, go up against the current. Um, there was one when you actually have to fight the monster on the cover, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, what are some of the other ones? Because I'm going to get to the troll one in a second, but there was... Oh, there's one where uh, there's two, a square on each side of the screen. So one boat has four bombs, and you have to drive over to his side, grab one of the bombs, and drive it back to your side, and you have to get all four of them back to your side without him having any on his side before the timer runs out. But anyway, one of the levels is a ring with eight people in it, and both you have to try to last 60 seconds without all the boats taking all the people. And I think 60 seconds is a little long uh, because I, I beat it one time, but I think it's because the game like glitched out and no one could grab the last person. But um, So all the boats are coming from all directions, grabbing the people and just trying to take them into opposite directions just away from you. Um, it's pretty brutal. You, you have all these ships coming to take the eight people. You have to try to shoot them before they get away with the... Uh, with the people, and then there's another thing floating around that's shooting stuff at you and stunning you. It's bullshit. The level 60 seconds is it's pretty steep. Um, anyway, whatever. It's still a cool game. The next one I got there was uh, Mechanized Attack. This is a light gun game. I hate to play this game with the controller because I don't have a zapper here and I also don't have a CRT television anyway. Um, so this is made by SNK. This game is uh, it's like first person where it's side scrolling. So some levels scroll to the left, some scroll to the right, which I really like. Um, and you're just trying to shoot all the people shooting at you. Um, you know, I don't know. It's good. It's entertaining. It's fun. It's cool. If you see it, pick it up. That game, like any light game, will be 100 times better with the zapper instead of the controller. The Saturn game that I got there is Offworld Interceptor Extreme. I had this game disc only, but when I saw it uh, you know, completely, I just decided to pick it up. This is an M-rated racing game. This is rated M for mild uh, language and suggestive themes. I had, this is one of the only two games, one game, this might have been the only game I wasn't able to try out because I don't have a Saturn here. Um, anyway, it looks awesome, it looks very arcadey, it looks sweet, it's just a racing game that you try to, I guess, kill all the other people. Uh, and then the last thing that I got there, um, was one of my favorite things, is Bionic Commando Elite Forces. Um, this is the, the Game Boy, this is the Game Boy uh, Color, um, sequel to the Nintendo game. Uh, one cool thing about this is you can actually choose between a male and a female um, when you start the game. I was the female. Uh, I know I picked the chick anyway. Uh, and once you get over the fact and remember that you can't jump, you know, using your hook and everything just starts falling into place and it'll just be swinging all around uh, the whole level. It's really fun. It's a really good game. Um, I love this game. I'm, I have not been able to beat this, but it's really good. And this has everything. This box is pretty beat up. But it's good. I definitely recommend this game. Um, while we were there, there was actually a game with no label in the back. So uh, we were wondering what it was, and then we asked the guy up, you know, who runs the store, and he said that some kid came in with a bunch of Nintendo games, and, he, and this was one of them, and they just told him that they didn't want it because they didn't know what it was. Um, and the, kid, the kid just left it there anyway. 
So they just, anyway, so they just threw it in the back. So they just gave it to us. So anyway, I'm going to cut a clip here of, um, of Sam actually uh, starting this up and me actually finding it out um, exactly what this game actually was. Hey everybody, I'm Samurai Sam. I was out uh, game hunting with Jack Falcon today at our favorite game store and we found a uh, mystery cartridge there. Some dude just left it at their store and, and the, the, the guys who run the store love us, both of us, because we go there all the time. So they're just like, hey, you can have it. We don't care about it. And now we are irrationally excited to see what it is because of the mystery. Like, we actually bought games that we could identify that did have labels, but yet for some, for some reason we're most excited about this because it could be anything. It could be Little Samson, but, you know, it's probably going to be, like, the worst thing it could possibly be, right? Um, so, uh, Jack, do you want to make your guess as to what this is? Yeah, I think it's going to be Super Mario Bros. Duck Hunt. Well, it is the most common game for the system, so it's a rational guess. I'm guessing it's going to be Bases Loaded. Uh, which is also like probably the second most common game and and it's just you see it everywhere um, And uh, there are probably ways we can narrow down our guess just with the design of the cartridge and the board But you know, we're not that savvy. So that's our best guesses and uh, So without further ado, we've cleaned the cartridge and we're about ready to pop it in for the very first time You're gonna see our live reaction as to whatever it is and this thing's a little bit tight I don't get in there. Yes, there we go All right drum roll <laughs> We go Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles looks like all right the arcade game with turtle suit eggs Very pretty cool. sweet yeah. game nice. nice so I thought this game was gonna be Super Mario but it actually turned out to be turtles to the arcade game which is cool um, I mean it's in a nice shape with the exception of the label missing so it was cool they just threw it in because they didn't know what to do with it I guess they don't test any games and then the very very last thing that I got was actually from that same store that I got the other stuff from and they had I've been trying to collect all the fantastic colors of the N64 systems and um, controllers. I almost have all the controllers, but um, I needed four more colors, and they had one there that they said didn't work. It was broken, uh, and it was a watermelon red. So uh, they sold me this for 30 bucks um, as a broken unit, but when I got home, it actually worked perfectly fine. So, um, yeah, it was cool. This is in really nice shape. This didn't come with an expansion pack. I put that in. It came with a jumper pack. But now I only need three colors. I need smoke gray, I need uh, ice blue, and I need uh, fire orange. Um, so it was really cool. Um, I just think all the systems look really nice, especially when they're all together. They look really good. So before I wrap everything up, I'm just going to talk about some things I've been, you know, talk, uh, talking about, listening to, playing, reading, watching, whatever. Um, I watched Jurassic Park the other day, and uh, that movie holds up, obviously, it's fucking amazing, it costs tons of money, and it has really good actors, Steven Spielberg did it, check it out, you, everyone in the world has probably already seen that movie. Uh, we've been playing Mother 3, this is the fan translation, this is a, um, it's like a bootleg repro card or whatever. Mother 3 is really entertaining and is a really good game, I really like it, it's obviously very, very reminiscent of Earthbound. Uh, it's very quirky. It's just, it's really good. Get your hands on it, play it, emulate it, however you gotta do it, but definitely check it out. If, if, if you liked Earthbound, I mean, that's made by the same guy and it definitely kicks ass. Well, uh, one of the things I picked up in red was The Nightmare Before Christmas. This is like the junior novelization, I think that's what they call these. This is so well written. Um, I don't know who wrote this, but I actually like this more than the movie. This uh, ex explains a lot more, and if you've already seen the movie, then this obviously, like, you can already have the picture painted because you've already seen it. You already know what the characters look like and who they are. But this is just, it's really well written, uh, really entertaining, and it definitely kicks ass. So if you ever see any of these junior novels, there's also like Batman ones. There's, uh, I don't know, there's other ones. They're good. They're, they're just good. I don't know. Check that one out. I've been listening to Jawbreaker, uh, Dear You, like every day. It's really good. That CD came out like 20 years ago. That was the last CD they ever put out um, that they went into the studio to record, and uh, they broke up shortly afterwards. Anyway, check that CD out. It's, it's really well done. I know that CD like divided their fan base back in the day, but the CD does kick ass. Um, Save Your Generation is the opening song. That song is awesome. Um, Jet Black is really good, and then S the S Sluttering, I think, is my favorite song in the whole CD. Anyway, it's really good. Uh, check it out. Like I said, Jawbreaker, Dear You, so yeah. Anyway, so that's uh, stuff I've been adding to my collection, what I've been listening to, what have you guys been listening to, what have you been adding to your collection, and uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next episode. Peace.